Good evening, traders. Today is Wednesday, November 9th. The trading day has closed, and much to my surprise, I think the crash has already started. It did not recover at all today. It just went down and down and down and could not find support at all. That was a little bit surprising to me. Okay, so let's get into what happened uh, with a brief overview of what happened on the day. Okay, as I covered, uh, th this this part will be pretty brief. <laughs> the story was pretty straightforward. Um, in this morning's uh, stock market outlook, I had reviewed that I think the support line to look for is 1840. Right, this is TQQQ. That's what this gray line is drawn out to be. And I uh, 1840 from the 195 minute SMA 20 simple moving average 20 uh, line. Okay. And at opening bell, as you will see, it actually tried. It did try. It tried twice. Once, twice. It did try twice to stay above the line and hold the line right and uh, by the way this is the five minute chart but once again time and time again as i've uh, mentioned in previous videos on the five minute chart the ema 50 could not be broken through and it could never uh break through it the entire day and so that effectively acted as resistance you see that and remember, in order to break through, you must close a green, well, you must close a candle above the EMA 50 in order to consider it broken and a trend change. And that clearly did not occur at any time today. Okay. And so I was hoping to get some puts, you know, you know, like this huge um, move up. It's very tempting to, to get calls, right? It's just, oh, it's going to go. Uh, no, it's not. Came back down. This one's the same. Oh, it's going to go. Mm, not so much. Okay. So you got to wait. You got to wait for the five minute candles to close. Um, to close above the EMA 50 on the back test side. On the back test side, right? And you would have found, had you waited, Time and time again, it just failed, failed, failed. Okay, as it was coming down, and then eventually, then it eventually it got even worse. It couldn't even uh, break through the SMA 20 line, right? Let alone the EMA 50, right up here. Eventually, it couldn't even break through the SMA 20 on the on the five minute chart. So that's basically the whole story of today. You know, in a nutshell, I mean, you can. And here's the here's the MACD. You can you can start to see some possible divergence coming up, but once again, it never got to, never got past the zero line, and it just kept falling down. Okay. When we look over at the uh, the 30 minute, here's the 30 minute. Zoom on in. You know, same song, different verse. On the 30 minute, it just down, down, down. I was just like, wow, it's losing strength. It just didn't even try to recover on the 30 minute. See that down? Let's skip on over to the one hour. You know, it started up uh, in the morning, right? The one hour above the zero line here. But as the day went on, it's just losing strength, losing strength, losing strength. So that was. In a nutshell, the story of today, okay, it was, I was quite surprised. I thought, well, we're, you know, hopefully we're going to hold the 1840 line and then maybe make a move back up. It didn't. And the criterion, as it's always has been discussed in previous videos, the five minute candles could not clear the EMA 50 in order to demonstrate or prove a trend is changing back to the upside it just couldn't do it okay 
it's almost like the market's new. <laughs> they knew what's coming tomorrow. Um, you know, I, I, I got me, I got puts at the end of the day. I'm like, man, you are not recovering at all. Let's, uh, let's have a look here. You know, this is real time right now. You know, I, oh yeah, they've already extended hours. I've already paused for at 5 p.m. here, 5 p.m. Eastern time. But as you see here, you see right there, even in extended hours, it just kept going, going. It can't clear the SMA 20 in extended hours. This is an hour after close. See? So I don't know how it's going to muster the ability to do that. You know, I'll, I'll of course, watch futures tonight, futures tomorrow morning before the 7.30, well, 7.30 Central Time, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. CPI numbers are released. Boy, I think that's when the fireworks are going to go off. Okay, so let's switch gears now and review the... Oh, real quickly, we can review the economic calendar here. So, tomorrow morning, uh, right here, core core inflation rate month over month right here, you know, Previous was 0 0.6, and to the right, call your attention to this number. This is the Cleveland Fed now cast, 0 0.54. Um, okay, so we'll just have to, you know, consensus is 0 0.5, right? So I think anything. This is that's the core. That's the core inflation rate, which is what the the Fed prefers. Uh, because it uh, it does not include what energy, uh, food food and energy, though they, the the Fed says that's volatile. So um, now, having said that, 0 0.54 consensus, 0 0.5. You know, I think anything in line. Well, this is forecast. I think they upped that. I don't remember seeing 0 0.7. Anything that's even in line with with Inflation is still not good because that tells the Fed then it didn't go down, right? It's still st stuck up there, right? That's that's not a good sign. Okay, now check out inflation right here, month over month. Okay, previous was 0 0.4, right? See that there? Consensus is 0 0.6. Look what the Cleveland Fed says it's going to be. 0 0.76. That's way that okay if 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 076 is correct that's almost double what it was previously okay that is going to blow the lid off of the can okay so and I will uh I've actually seen a, a respectable analyst on uh seeking alpha say Oh, and by the way, the Cleveland Fed's numbers month over month, six, like I think I think the the right number is sixteen out of the last nineteen times has been lower than the actual Fed number, uh, the, the, the lower than the actual CPI number. Okay, so this number, if you're going off of history, is actually low. All right. <laughs> has been lower than the actual okay so either number either number doesn't look that good and boy so take that for what you will we will see we will see okay last thing i want to cover with you is NASDAQ, let's go ahead and start with uh, the four hour. It, let me zoom on in. Okay, so earlier this morning, it was pretty much right at zero ish. It's now in the negative and crossed, crossed down below the signal line. See that? That's not good. Look at the RSI. That's firmly red now. Okay, that's not good. 
So this is a four hour chart. So, you know, it's the only good news is <laughs> it's at least near zero, but it's heading down. It's near zero, though, right? I mean, that's the good news. It's not like way down here like that, right? So that's probably about the only good thing I can say about it right now. We need to see what futures tonight looks like and tomorrow morning, obviously. This is, I want to see how this pattern plays out throughout the night and into the morning, right? Does it try to flatten out? Does it kind of go down? I don't know what it's going to do, okay? But it's not a good look. Let's go to the one hour chart. Let me uh, pull this up a little bit. There you go. There we go. And okay. Yeah, the one hour looks even worse. The one hour, it, which I like to use a lot, is firmly in the negative. See that it is, I mean, it's, it's trying to curl a little bit but it's firmly in the negative. So we need to see how this pattern plays out tonight. Does it try to flatten out? That's the only hope it can have. I think it's gonna try because that's just natural because you're so far beyond the, uh, like the Bollinger Band. I don't have it shown here, but it's, it's just natural for it to try to flatten out only to get smacked tomorrow morning, I think. So, Okay, less than one hour. Um, boy, it doesn't look good at all. Okay. I want to call your attention to... Here we go. Couple of destinations. If it, if it goes south. <laughs> get, out, get that out of the way. Here, let's... Uh, here's the first destination. Tomorrow morning. Okay. If it goes south. Here's the second destination tomorrow morning. That second destination is, oops, went too fast. October 13th. Yep, that was when the last CPI came out. Went in pre markets. It plummeted 500 points, only to fiercely rally up, like plus 800 points. That was a crazy day, okay? Now, but the difference is significant. It's it's not to say, well, it happened last time. It could happen this time. Well, we, we need to look at the circumstances of last time. The circumstances of last time, let me zoom out a little bit. Circumstances of last time. It had been falling since August, right? Pretty much since so this uh, September. We'll just use September, but it's actually August. They look down, 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 down. So, in in that circumstance, let me here we go here here. And and look at the MACD in that circumstance. It's been falling since September for a month straight, and and by that time, look at this. It's, it, it was already trying to bottom here. See that? It's been trying to bottom. And the MACD's, uh, this is the one hour, yeah, the MACD, right there, it actually touched the zero line, almost touched the zero line, right? So by the time September CPI came out and it dropped 500 points in, in uh, pre-market, the market had already decided it's going to rally. You see that? You see what I'm saying? So look, at the, look at the MACD. It was already coming up close to zero, close to zero, close to zero. Oh, a little speed bump. That's okay. Boom, it going, went down, and then boom, it went up, and then it just started going up after that. You see what I mean? So it hit, it, it, it had already been falling for a month. It was trying to bottom to begin with, and then it just, you know, the CPI is like, oh, okay, that's bad. Oh, okay, that's fine. We're going to just rip it up anyways. Okay, that was last time. That was last CPI. Totally different circumstance with the MACD, as you can see here. See that? It was already coming up towards zero, coming up towards zero. Just a minor speed bump, boop, but it already decided it was going to rally anyways. You see what I mean? Like if I draw, here, let's just kind of draw a trend line. 
I mean, look at that. It had already decided. Boom, 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 boom. See that? It had already decided, I'm going to rally. I don't care what you do. Okay? Right? That That's clearly it did that. But this time's different. <laughs> we had been rallying. Right? Rallied and then and then Jerome Powell put the smackdown on us right here, right in the last press conference on the last uh, rate hike meeting, and then we've been rallying for the last three days, and now we're here. It's not the same circumstance, guys. Right? It's just not. The MACD is in a totally different space than it was back on October 13th that I just showed you. Right? It is totally different. So we can't say, well, it oh it might drop 500 and whip around on us and go plus 800 again. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. In fact, what I think it's going to do, presuming that number comes hot, it's going to come and try to test this first line. And if and when that fails, it's going to come really try to test this second line, which is, which is this right here. That's the October 13th low on the year, by the way, on the year for 2022, right? So, long story short, zoom in again. Oh, let me pull this up. There we go. Long story short, look for it to test this first line. If that fails, look for it to test the second line. If that fails, here we go. Here we go. Okay? If it tests this first line and passes, well, then that's a double bottom then. Okay, so so what what level is this? Ten six six one. If it passes ten six six one, and it will not go below that, then I would get some calls. Okay, just but you gotta you know, uh, uh use the five minute chart, right? Use the five minute chart and do the 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 typical criteria of the five minute candle body cannot <laughs> could not when it closes it cannot straddle the line it's got to close above the line to stay bullish okay so uh i can i can do some um tomorrow morning i can probably do some some patterns draw out some patterns for you you know um i'll tell you what let me just uh, let me just doodle. Let me doodle. Okay. Let's pretend that this is the first line, right here. This black line. <clears throat> it it's gonna do it, it in all likelihood. Whew, boy, it's gonna come down, and then it's going to it's gonna come down past the line. It's gonna come up. And if it gets rejected, it's going to come down. If it gets wholly rejected, it's going to come down. And then here's, no, let's just pretend that's the second line. Okay, that's the possibility. Or it can do this, this, that, and that. That's two possibilities. Okay? Oh, I can think of a third. It can do this up, kind of some sideways chop, S sideways, but maybe even slightly down, and then up, and then up. Successful back test, up. Okay, those are your three scenarios to look for tomorrow. <laughs> when it tests this first line uh, right here, ditto for the second line. It's going to do the same type of thing. So, <clears throat> yeah, we'll see. And one last thing I want to show you is VIX. Boy, VIX is looking ugly. Ugly meaning strong. Okay, this is the one hour chart. Look at this. Okay, so first of all, 
it's been falling, falling, falling for a long time. I believe the trend has now reversed for VIX. Why? This is the one hour. Look at the EMA 50 red line right here. See that? See that as it was falling and falling, 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 falling for many days? It couldn't, it couldn't successfully backtest. Here's a good example. Here, here's a good example. Right here. Here's it went up above, it gapped up above the EMA 50. Sorry, back test failed. Right, the candle was closing below the EMA 50. See that? And and here are the candles, VIX candles are kind of just up against it as the uh, EMA 50 is resistance. Sorry, boop, keep going down. Let's fast forward to the last couple of days. Look at that. Here's the EMA 50. What happened? Boom. Back test successful up. Here we go. And it has not failed a back test since. That includes today. This was what today looked like. Firmly above on the one hour chart. That's strong. On the one hour chart, VIX candles are closing way above the EMA 50 line right there. Way above. That's strong. And here's the one hour MACD. Look at that. Angling up and way above the zero line. Yeah. Not sure how you can draw a bullish conclusion. Boy, the only way the markets have a chance tomorrow is if that CPI <clears throat> comes down like really low. Like really low. Even if it was just like, what was it, 0. 0.6 and it came down 0. 0.5, 0. 0.5 something. I don't know. I, I think the only thing <laughs> that can save the markets is a really low CPI number. You know, that's it. But as of right now, as you just see here with VIX on the one hour, VIX is ready to roll. It's already gotten started the last two days. See? So, it, it I mean, look at that. Clearly, 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 no mistaking it, it is a trend trend change to the upside compared to all of that from the downside. It has broken through EMA 50. And you know me, I love the EMA 50 on the one hour chart. That's crazy. It's already pretty a good, a good bellwether sign that it's passing on the five minute chart. But the fact that it's Clearing candles above the EMA 50 on the one hour chart for VIX. Uh, you bet, don't mess around. Don't mess around with that. So, that's the prognosis, guys. I think uh, the market's going to need a miracle tomorrow, and that miracle is going to have to be a really low CPI. And based on what we're seeing with the Cleveland Fed, uh, no, <laughs> that's not really low. Sorry, 0.76, that's almost double what it was last month. And 0.54, that's not low. You know, that's not like really low. So, all right, I guess that's all I've got for now. And uh, let I'll uh, do another one tomorrow morning pre-markets. But by the time I do the pre-markets, they will have already released the, the, the CPI. They release it early, you know. So, I've got my puts already in. I'm ready to go. All right. Thanks. Talk to you later.